Hey y'all, I finished my hair. Like, it took me like two hours, two, two and a half hours to like do this. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the results. Um, I went for a bone straight. I know a lot of people like do a heat, heat pass or whatever. I went for bone straight. I just figured, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it whole. Ugh, I don't know. I just did it. So, this is it. Um, it still has body to it, which is surprising to me because, like, my perm hair really didn't have body. Um, I had some clips in it just to make it lay down, you know what I'm saying, at the root. And so, I'm going to put those back in because I'm trying to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm going go to my, go see my friend. And he's going to be like, who is this chick? I bet. But anyway, I'm going to give you a full turn around. Like, it was, look, I swear it reverted, like, at the, like it's immediately after I finished doing it. I swear it did, some parts. Um, and it was looking good, and then I ran the comb through it, and then it just got super frizzy. But, I'm going to turn around and show you. Trying to turn around this way. But, yeah, it's super frizzy in some part, some parts, but... <laughs> I don't know. This makes me want to perm my hair. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I've never, since going natural, I've never had a desire to perm my hair. But pressing my hair makes me want to perm it. Like, if that's how I'm going to wear my hair. Like, I don't understand natural chicks that, that like, wear their hair pressed 24-7. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Because it's going to revert where my hair reverts anyway. If your hair doesn't revert, then I guess that would be cool. But, yeah, speaking of reverting, hopefully my hair reverts back like my original curl pattern. Um, I wanted to give you a length check, too. So, I guess I will take these out after all. Again, give you a length check. For this portion of my hair, I kind of tried to do a light trim. I wasn't comfortable doing the back of my hair because I couldn't see it. Um, but to the top, I did do a light trim. You see, some pieces like that is like, I mean, like to me, that's like super straight like even running my hands through it so it's a little bit where does this piece stop this piece stops here I just want to see where that piece stopped because it looked a little shorter because like I said I did trim in different sections in different spots I'm no goddamn hair stylist but anyway it's a little bit below my nose and like I said before I got my braids my hair was above my nose so I'm very excited about that um I'll show you this side over here. I was thinking like, damn, did I cut my hair? Because it was looking like it was two different lengths. But I think it's cool. So if I showed you, like, somewhere back here. This is behind my ear. You know my edges are thin, so I'm going behind my ear. I'm pulling it down. And that's where I'm at. And in the back. So, my hair is growing. I can definitely tell even by this press because I did a press when I was like, I think I was eight months. And on my natural hair story, I said it was a blowout, y'all, but I lied. It was a press. <laughs> um, and it wasn't this long at all. Like, I couldn't even do like a, you know, I couldn't even feather. Like, I tried to do my little feathering a little bit over here. I couldn't even feather. Yeah, but we'll, I'm going to try and rock this as, as long as it'll let me do it. But look at that. It's already going back. So, at least I can do something with it. I can put it in a ponytail. <laughs> but alright, y'all. Bye. Hope you like. Hey, y'all. So, it's Saturday morning. Um, I just got out the shower and <laughs> this is my hair. <laughs> this is my hair like oh my gosh it just completely reverted back <laughs> um I did it was wrapped and I just put some clamps on like some little clips some duck bill clips or whatever on it and um yeah this was a fail but at, the good thing is at least I know that I didn't damage my hair and it will revert <laughs> so that's a plus so um 
I was thinking about trying Bantu knots on this hair, so I think that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll come back and show you. Well, definitely whatever I decide to do, I'll come back and show you. All right, bye, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I just, well, I didn't just finish, but um, this is how I got my hair. As you can see, I have on this little white, like, turban thingy. I'm not even sure where the hell I got this from, but it's just a small cap like that. So, as you can see, I did my whole head in Bantu knots. In Bantu knots. I used um, my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I went ahead and did this because I like the way Bantu knots come out, like, on semi-straight hair. So, I, you know, that's the reason why I did that. Because we know that that press was done. Um, and I'm going to turn around so you can see. Turn around that way. And I did use a comb for the parts. Um, just for the rows, but for the parts I just grabbed. Y'all, let me tell y'all. This tangle teaser. I have been missing this in my entire life. This made my life so easy. It's just like a one, like the first pass, you can just smooth it through, and it's just like, oh. It makes life so much easier. Like, I love my Tangle Teaser. I love this, y'all. Like, I would suggest you get one of these because I got thick hair. Now, the test, the real test is going to be um, trying to use this while I'm deep conditioning or while I have something in my hair. I haven't yet. I've only used it on dry hair. So, I'll keep y'all posted. But I'm going to take these down probably tomorrow. I ain't going nowhere today. So, this is how I'm rocking it. Bye, y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm coming back to show you the results of my Bantu Knot Out. As you can see, I still have some of them in, like around the front, because this is like the fuzziest part of my hair, so I think I might just keep these in until tomorrow morning. Um, and some of these pieces around the edge, even though I had on my bonnet and my shower cap, they still got a little damp, so I just left those in. But I took out the majority of it, and I'm very, very, very pleased with the results. Um, to take them out, I just put some of my 100% um, pure olive oil on my hands and just took them out and then just scrunched them like that. But I'm definitely, like, satisfied. I'm sorry if my music is too loud. I'm definitely satisfied. So, and I could not wait till tomorrow. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Like, I could not do it. So, I went ahead and took them out. But I'm going to show you. As you can see, they have, like, a good shine. But I'm going to show you. And as far as the parts, I'm just going to lift them up. Um... With just a comb or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely satisfied with the results though. I definitely like this Bantu knot out um, with the press, you know, the flat iron, which was a major damn fail. Oh, I'm so pissed about that. But um, I love the Bantu knot on it, which I, I expected I would. So I'm very, very, very pleased. Um, yeah, I like it though. And I think I'm just going to rock it, even though it, you know. A lot of people, when they grow length, they don't want styles to make them hair, make their hair look short. I really don't care because I like it anyway. It's so cute and so springy and so soft. And like I said, I use my um, I already put it in my bathroom now, but I use my um, curl enhancing smoothie, just a little bit on each section, and I um, seal the ends with um, my shea butter co. But yeah, this is it, y'all. I hope you like. I thank y'all for watching my movie. Or my, I don't know why I always call it video. I mean, movies. I'm going to call it a movie then. It's a movie. Tune in. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So I'll talk to y'all ladies, um, your ladies later. I guess tomorrow morning I'll come back and show you um, probably what I'm wearing and the final with everything taken out. Oh, also, I did polish my nails. Like... I polished them and this is NYC's quick uh, what is it it's Canal Street the color is Canal Street and it like has like some goldy shimmers in it um, and this was 120 this was 120 at Target 
it was on sale for one twenty on clearance actually. But I love it, and it makes you it makes you think of either Canal Street in New York or you can think of Canal Street in New Orleans, you know. So it kind of makes me feel like I'm two places at once, and I haven't went anywhere. So a nail polish that makes my mind travel, I love. So I love this color. Um. I'm not so much sure how much I like my real nails. I have to get used to them because they're so ugly. But I've been using um, Sally Henson's Hard as Nail. And I did two coats of that and then applied um, the Canal Street. And then applied a Sally Henson Invisible Top Coat. But anyway, y'all, so that's it. And I'll just show y'all later what um, my hair came out to be tomorrow. All right, bye, y'all.